All right, welcome back, everybody. Attorney General Eric Holder facing massive criticism from the GOP candidates at the Fox News debate last night. Some calling for him to resign over the controversial Fast and Furious gun running program. Take a look. If I'm the President of the United States and I find out that there is an operation like Fast and Furious and my Attorney General didn't know about it, I would have him resign immediately. <laughs> He was the attorney general under me. I would have him. Uh, I would fire him. I wouldn't have him resign. I'd fire him. Uh, this is something that he should have been aware of. Something that uh, that should have been stopped. This some should have started in the first place. All right. Well, as you can tell, uh, that got a very positive reaction from the crowd last night. Seventy-five lawmakers, though, in Washington, are now calling for Holder to step down. Uh, but our next guest is not actually on that list directly. He's Congressman Darrell Issa. He's the chair of the Oversight and Government Reform Committee. Uh, Congressman, welcome. Good morning to you. Well, good morning, and uh, thanks for pointing out that our job is to investigate. The president's job is to determine whether Eric Holder has become too much of a distraction and whether or not justice would be better off without him. What did you think of what the candidates had to say on this issue last night? Well, I may personally agree with them that uh, this is somebody that I would not have full confidence in. I would not keep on if, if I had control of, of that decision. Uh, but I think the more important point is that as this scandal continues to expand, as we continue to see problems at justice under his and other uh, of his lieutenant's leadership, you have to ask, isn't there a point at which real management changes need to happen? I've called for a house cleaning, a thorough house cleaning, uh, because I think that up and down, both political appointees and in some cases career professionals clearly did what was wrong or failed to do what was right. And Brian Terry's uh, yep. family is grieving today, uh, just one day past the, uh, the anniversary of his killing. Yeah. What's the meaning of this uh, 75 co-sponsors on this House resolution of no confidence? Does it really hold any weight in whether or not Mr. Holder stays or goes? Well, it's, it's not un, unheard of, but it's a pretty high number here to get people to say that they really believe uniquely one person needs to go. Remember, on the Hill, there's a lot of people that would like house cleaning from top to bottom of the cabinet, but it generally doesn't turn into uh, this kind of a specific uh, call for resignation or call for firing. And again, this investigation has continued for a number of months. We, our problem on the Oversight Committee is that we've been deliberately hampered, we've been lied to, false statements have been given to us and then have to be retracted. We've had to push, we've had to give subpoenas, we've had to demand individuals. Uh, that sort of activity, that lack of cooperation, is much more what my committee is concerned with. Normally, we work in relative harmony with the administration to get to the bottom of things that go wrong. We work with the IGs. Uh, Eric Holder and the uh, uh, Justice is just one of the areas in which President Obama has not been transparent, has not been willing to cooperate in our obligation to know on behalf of the American people what has happened and whether it should be changed. All right, Congressman Darrell Issa, thank you very much. Uh, good to talk You're to you this welcome. morning, sir.